Hello everyone and welcome to another mail video because we're doing them all. We're doing all the mail videos. Bam, 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 bam. And uh, we're recording a few a day, which is why we're in the same clothes. And then we're just spacing them out so they come out every day. That makes sense? That makes sense, right? That makes sense. Yes. Okay. Uh, first mail for today is from Joshua in uh, Sydney, Canada. What is it? Were you trying to read the province? Was that Alberta? There's some other writing on it, and it's abbreviated. And I don't know my Canadian provinces. I'm fairly certain that's Alberta. <laughs> Think Cape Breton first. It's a fridge magnet. Oh my god. Sorry, we don't get enough fridge magnets. No, we don't. And I would love to just slather the, the, the fridge in magnets. We, we gotta send, send more. Send like just random stuff like this. I would love to have like not be able to see the refrigerator. All right. Have that. Graph paper, classy. Uh, Card Incorporated. Hey, Stephen Amell. I've been watching you for a while. I started with your LP of Shadow of the Colossus, which is awesome. Uh, from my point of view, arguably my best LP. Uh, that led me to your vlog, and I got hooked. Watching your life is like watching Big Brother without the backstabbing evictions and uh, eating PB&J. Now, my fave days are when you and Mal played Magic. I play it myself, and I'm not all that great at it. Whenever I do a uh, Friday Night Magic, haven't done one in a while, I generally use my standard Murr deck. Fun to use, but I never seem to win. Here's to your health. Live long and prosper. Uh, from Josh B. P.S. If you do some traveling, come to Cape Breton. And ch there's also cheap pop. He means soda. I know. I know what pop is. I, I'm, a, I'm a soda connoisseur. I have to know these things. Um, I can I can actually totally relate about not winning uh, Magic and in, in F and M. When I was playing Red Deck Wins back in the day, things were like I was like hardcore, like killing everybody, and then it rotated out, and my decks never quite did as well anymore. And I was like, mm -hmm. but it was still fun. I, I think that's one of the reasons I like playing uh, casual Magic now is because it's just magic is fun it, it doesn't really matter if you're winning or losing it's it's uh, I, I get a lot of enjoyment out of it and there's some other things in here we have a uh, a signed island this is a seventh edition island pretty old and we also have it's a Ben's card and it says because I love it I don't know what this is Sidney Crosby can it's a can Canadian hockey something it says Canada bread company because I've never heard of Ben's, but that's because it's Canadian, apparently. And we also have a, uh, a recipe for pasta salad. Ooh, I like pasta salad. And uh, various ingredients. Cook pasta and drain. Mix remaining ingredients together. Pour over pasta mixed together. Chilled and chowed down. You can also switch out the coleslaw dressing with... Dun, 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 dun. That's my way of saying, like, three ellipses. Ranch! Uh, trust me, it's good. I trust you. Anything with ranch is good. Seriously. In fact, I would, uh, that could be a challenge for someone to come up with something that isn't good with ranch. <laughs> Reese Peanut Butter Cup Ranch, go. Okay, maybe that, but anything else. Um, Josh, thank you so much for the leather and the magnet. Once again, I want to put emphasis on this because if you guys send magnets, like, they will stay up on the refrigerator forever. I mean, we have no plans to take them down. Unless there's, like, literally no room left for magnets. No. But we're not anywhere close to send magnets. Um, the wait, next... wait. What? Before you say the next, I want to point out these both came from the same area two days apart. Crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, both of these came out of uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, two days apart. So you guys might know each other or something. That's possibly. a different city, but... They're different cities. One, One's from Tulsa and one's from Broken Arrow. We'll go with uh, the Tulsa one first. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is from George in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Dear Stephen Amell, on the off chance that this actually reaches you, hi. I usually write in cursive uh, like this, and then he writes this in cursive. But most of my friends say it's illegible, so I'll do this in print. I want to apologize for asking questions. Questions is bolded because of a lack of YouTube accounts, but I'll have to ask them here. I'd like it if you at least answered the first one. Skip to the third paragraph, if not. What recording equipment would you recommend to a $50 budget on a Mac recording equipment? Um, well, if you can, if you can, try and locate a flip camera. Um, you might be able to find one cheap because they don't make them anymore, and I mean, I guess it could go either way. There's someone's like, 
raising the price a lot because they don't make them anymore, or maybe because they don't make them anymore, they're going to be cheap. All I know is that uh, right before they stopped selling them, they had them at Best Buy for like 40 bucks. So hopefully you can find a flip camera. Uh, how did your parents react to uh, my main channel, the vlog, and Stephen Plays? Always been support supportive, no matter what I wanted to do or attempted. They've always been like, yeah, cool, go for it. And uh, they actually watch the vlog every single day. Uh, will you ever LP other Mother games? Maybe. Um, I, I've never finished Mother 1, so I guess it's a possibility. And uh, I don't really have any plans to, to do Mother 3. My, my uh, stance on that has always just kind of been, it's a game best, best experienced by yourself. I, I don't want to ruin it with my commentary. The story about how I found out about you literally takes up a page, so I'll skip that. Anyway, I can't even sum up how much I want to thank you, both for your time and how you've affected my life, especially how much work you've put in. P.S. Have you ever seen Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Or Good Burger? Um, I have seen Ferris Bueller's Day Off. It's a fantastic movie. And I saw Good Burger in theaters. I saw it in theaters when it came out. I loved Good Burger, but that's because Keenan and Kel were awesome. Uh, flip over. P.P.S. Do you have an answer for why my Earthbound cartridge has an overwhelming amount of enemies on it? I bought it used. Is it bad luck or a bug? Um, it's quite possible that you bought a uh, ROM dump version. Uh, basically, there's anti-piracy methods um, established into even old games, like Super Nintendo games. And Earthbounds is, uh, if it detects that the cart is not an authentic cart, uh, basically it puts a pistolload of enemies into the game. So it's, in fact, it's actually unbeatable because when you get to the last battle with the race is your game, but yeah, <laughs> Earthbound's hardcore. Uh, PS times three, I didn't find you because of Chugga. I'm one out of 10, that didn't. <laughs> and P to the fourth, uh, how can I rewatch the stream? Um, if you go to twitch.tv slash Stephen George, I think that's the URL, or how, my, my name on Twitch is Stephen George, whatever the URL is to get there. Um, you'll see videos and click videos. There's only two videos on there and that's the stream and then at the very bottom He ranks his favorite days. His first favorite day is day 82 second is day 60 and third is day 49 82 is the one about the goats. I'm pretty sure don't know what day 60 is and day 49 is uh, I am Dan which is of course a classic. Yes, and he also includes a, uh, a card that says mythic rare and it's a new Super Mario Brothers Wii card clampy and it's, uh, I don't know if this is an actual, like, game or just a collectible thing, because I've never seen these before, but interesting. There's also, it looks like a puzzle on the back, which is pretty cool. Anyway, George, thank you so much for the letter. We're going to move on to the other person from Tulsa, even though it's actually Broken Arrow. And, uh, that is Robert. Are you going to open this, because you're the official letter yes. opener? You keep trying to take my job. I'm sorry. You know what? You should read a letter every once in a while. Keep you in practice. That's your job. And besides, uh -huh. I read part of one last time. Okay, fine. Play that game. Play it. Dear Stephen and Mallory, please flip a coin. If head, Stephen has to read this. If tails, Mallory must read this. You know what? I'm just going to say it's tails because you haven't read anything in a while. That's unfair. We're going to flip this magnet. This is heads. This is tails. Tails. You only saw it because it landed face up. No, because that's what you do. No, that's what you do. No one, no one just flips it. You flip it and then you flip it. That's how. That's the official way. It's in like the Bible. Just read. You have to read the. You have to read the letter. Did you know you live in a world that loves you? I do, but do you? I drew you a picture. I'm planning. Here's a picture. You can picture. I'm playing an Xbox game. It's a Dreamcast collection. It has Sonic Adventure. I beat that one. And I didn't like it so much. I have two recipes to send. These are my two favorites. It's California beef rice skillet and Spanish hot dogs and rice. Spanish hot dogs. <laughs> Sorry, I was like formulating my how I was gonna say something in Spanish and I realized I don't know anything in Spanish. I was like, mi amore! And I was like, that's not Spanish actually. You know, I'm sorry, just keep reading. Anyway, I typed this because my handwriting sucks right now. I have a few questions. Number one, how did you meet a meal? Internet. Have you ever grieved <laughs> on Minecraft? Uh, I, I met a meal on, on an old website. Um, that there's a video for it. Sorry, I, 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 I can't explain this all the time because I get asked it so yes. much. I, I met them on an old website dedicated to a game. What's the next one? Have you ever grieved on Minecraft? Um, no, actually. I've, I'm pretty good about that. I've never done that. Have you ever thought of visiting Emil wherever he lives? 
Possibly in January. Is there a way I can get a hold of him? Nope. Do you like waffles? Yes, a lot. Like I like waffles a lot. Okay. More I'm than pancakes. Sorry. Just I'm all out of questions. Up. Your mom and dad are so cool. That's all, I guess. Your biggest fan, Victoria. Thank you, Victoria. Um, we have here a picture of Stephen Knights, and it's uh, me on top with Sammy dying and some other Minecraft stuff. Do do do. Victoria, thank you for the drawing, the leather, and the recipes. We're going to move on to the next and last thing, which is actually two things. Um, and this is from uh, Felix in uh, Bethesda, Maryland. And, uh, and Felix wrote on the side of the package, Stephen Mao, congrats on the new home, successful move, packs, and kittens! P.S. Hello, P.O. Box people. Which I think is funny because... They she, know us. She went to the... Um, she went to the the PO the the PO the post office the other day to to um, pick some stuff up and she had to go to the front and she goes and the woman that was there was like oh you're PO box seven twenty one and I was like yeah that's us she's like ah you guys get a lot of mail and she's like yeah um, Felix Felix sent us a package but also another package came from Thing Geek. And this is actually from Felix as well. So we're going to open up his first and then go to the other package. Mal, wear the box as a hat. As long as you wear the other one. Deal. Included in this care package are artworks, kitty toy for to kitties. Cut a kitty toy. Yeah, <laughs> those are kitty toys, then they're going to love them. Cutouts of Pokemon relevant to your life. Stuffed Chia Pet Bear. A toy Pokedex Pokemon, the first movie. And a letter. Start with this. Snap, son. Dude, does this one still work? Oh my god! I actually had one of these as a kid. I might still have it somewhere in my in my house. You do, but, but mine doesn't work. Or if it does work, I, the batteries haven't been replaced. This is awesome. Now I can be like, I choose you. I can get information on all the Pokemon that matter. The first 151. Sweet. Well, you might be able to use it during the let's play. Oh my god! He's it, missing parts. He's They're missing. Right he's They're missing. Right here. Oh, it's awesome. That's awesome! That's awesome! Put them together. Put them together quick. I put that. Oh, hold on. I did it backwards. Does it go this way? It goes yes. this way. This Here. is amazing. Take the leaf off. The leaf off? There you go. Put, we're putting Venusaur together. I, what are these? They're, they're cutouts of Pokemon relevant to my life. I mean, that's Wait. what it says. That's awesome. These are cool. There you go. Where did you get these? Where did you make these? Like, what the heck? That's awesome. It's Venusaur, guys. You see this? That's crazy. It's like a Venusaur that's three-dimensional. Very square. And there's also a Jigglypuff. <laughs> it says death, death to America. Oh, death to America, Jigglypuff. <laughs> you so crazy. It's got big feet. Is and it Chia Pet Bear? Is it officially, it's a, an official Chia product? No. Oh, okay. It does look like a Chia but Pet But Sagan will love it. Oh, Sagan will actually rip this poor little thing to shreds. But he will love it. So if this is the toy, this should be cat, this should actually count as the cat toy. You said so many cat toys and you this don't even know it. This is the cat toy. Oh my god, this is awesome. This is like an official thing. Like, because we've been using the, um, the peacock feathers and they just like break and- Sagan's already looking. Yeah, Sagan's over there in the chair and he's like, what is that? Hey bud, what is this? What do we have here? Huh? What do we have here? Who woke him from sleep? Huh? What is it? Oh, I moved it out of his vision and he was like... Uh-oh. What's this? What could this be? Am I running along the ground? Am I running along the ground? Oh, is it going up my leg? What could it... Uh-oh. Here it comes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? You better get it. You better get it. You better get it. Look at it. You're almost in frame, but not quite. You better come get it. Come here. Come get it. Come get it. Now Kepler's like, what is that? <laughs> What's going on over there? What the oh my god! It's the best thing on earth! And Sagan's like freaking out. Sagan's like, I'm gonna have to get that thing. I'm gonna have to get it. You better get it. You better get it. You better get it. This entire mail episode is just gonna be this. You better get it. There's also the uh, Pokemon the first movie. Pokemon, my journey's just begun. Pokemon, my more than ever. Pokemon, my team rockets on the run. Pokemon, my 
<laughs> pleasure. Um, this is awesome. I saw this in theaters. In fact, um, I went with my parents and got the uh, the cards, like the special bonus cards that you got with it. And my friends went too, and they gave me their cards because I was the Pokemon master. I love Pokemon. It's a kid, man. I love Pokemon. Did you ever see this? Yeah. This is the first one, right? Yeah. Yeah, I saw it in theaters. Okay, good. Good. Yeah. New York keeper. Ah, yeah, awesome. Read this. this is fantastic. We're not even to the uh, the leather yet. That's the leather. All right, here we go. Dear glorious Czar of Republic of Stephen Vlogs, Stephen George, and Queen Mallory. Thank you for all of days given to us, your people. They are been very entertained for me and rest of populace, I'm sure. Alex has making very good head of army and potential insurrectionist. Dan is good too, but political position has not been clear made by you. Continue with great dictatorship of freedom entertains. Speaking to you again, Emelian Yefremov. They like the newspaper. That's best. the newspaper. <laughs> that is the that is the toy. That's first. This that is on first. Top of the stack. It says, "Hi, I'm Jitters," and it's actually it's Pikachu j drinking like an entire like mug. Of, Not mug. What? Uh, uh, Karaf. Kar okay. Yeah. Karaf. Is that? A, I know that word, but I don't know that word. Does that make sense? Whatever. Yeah. Keep moving. Dear Stephen Amal. <laughs> Lol. Bless you. Dear Stephen Amal, LOL, you probably thought that was the leather and this is just art. Oh, the naivete. Just kidding, you guys are awesome and intelligent and probably 50% at least of the reason my biological functions continue. If you remember me, I have sent two letters previously, the one with the Chugga Conroy thumbnail, and I also sent the Celebi Pokemon card. Just to clear it up right now, my YouTube's channel is McFeelix200. We are gonna have to take the paper away from you, kitten. How much do you wanna bet you guys pronounced it McFeelix200? Well, that's wrong. It's pronounced MC Felice with a Z. Sorry, you guys mispronounced it the last two times. It's not your fault. You guys probably read through these letters pretty quick. I know how many you get of these. I'm not trying to be a jerk. Back to important stuff. I'm super excited the Leaf Green LP is out. I'll have you know that that was the first Pokemon game I played as a kid, along with Fire Red. I was wondering what you guys' favorite Pokemans are. I know Stevens is Venusaur. What's your favorite? Skitty. Or? I don't know. Eevee. Eevee? Yeah, I guess. Which is, I, I'm not trying to like speak for you. It's just in the past when I've asked you this question, you've told me either of them. Yeah. It changes. Yeah. You like skinny because it's a kitty. Yeah, and Mew. And Mew. Also, what Pokemon game did you play first? My first was Red and Blue. What, what, what game did you play first? I don't know. I've played Yellow, probably. It's the first I remember playing. Yellow? I didn't play through any of them, but... I mean, Yellow was Red and Blue era, pretty yeah. much. Which, it's my a it's a much it. different game. I actually, I think Yellow might be my favorite game. I like it because it follows the anime and you feel like you're actually Ash. You don't remember. No. <laughs> you make me upset. My favorite things about the Leaf Green LP are definitely the fake bios. Do you think you'll end up making some sort of collection or booklet filled with them? It can be purchased through the Steven Store service of the interwebs. Um, I don't know if we're going to sell them, but we are going to make a video at the end of the series that shows all the bios at once. And there could possibly be Pokemon that we don't see, and those bios will be in that video as well. So if you want to see all the bios, you can just wait till the end. Uh, speaking of shirt buying, I need to get around to it. Which shirt is your favorite? Which shirt is your favorite, Mel? I don't know. That's wrong. The Venusaur one's nice. The Venusaur one is nice. Um, I don't own it, but uh, I, I one of the shirts I, I think I'm probably going to get in the future is Press A to Horse. I just really like that shirt. Mm -hmm. And also the awkward sneaking shirt I think is funny. I don't know. I, I really like those shirts. Um, you know, I really wish I could meet you two in person. You seem like a super fun couple to spend some time with. If you guys are over in Washington, D.C. or near Bethesda, Maryland, hit me up and we will arrange a meetup. Yours truly, uh, Felix Maishabo, also known as MC Feliz 200. I will never mess it up again. Well, I'll never try. Uh, P.S. You should have gotten a package from ThinkGeek.com by now containing a foam Minecraft pickaxe. I've emailed you. If it hasn't arrived, it will eventually. So, well, I guess that kind of spoils what's in the in the package, but thank you so much for the letter. And there's actually some more art. Um, it says, when you speculated about where the money comes from after battles, uh, you weren't too far off. And it's it's a picture of, of Bulbasaur pooping money. Like, literally pooping money, which is fantastic. I love it. The little character's off to the side says, I fed... 
Greg a Pokey Burrito. And it's me and Gary. That's fantastic. And then finally, we have quadruple and a half bus madness. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's four and a half buses from the, uh, the PAX Prime vlog. So, so fantastic. Uh, Felix, thank you so much for everything. This was very much a care package and I appreciate it. And uh, let's move on to the last box, which was also from Felix. And apparently houses a foam Minecraft pickaxe. Man, it's in a big package. Okay, that's awesome. Man, with with this and the sword, we could we could make a live action Stephen Amell Minecraft series, which would be awesome. Would, would yeah. it not? That's awesome. Thank Let's you. Let's not do that. <laughs> maybe something I'll consider. Maybe a special video that would be actually kind of cool. <laughs> we could see a real life Enderman or something. And there's a. Uh, there's also a Think Geek like book, which is I I don't know if you guys are are into this, but when I was in middle school, skateboarding was a huge thing, and there was a, uh, a company called CCS, I think, either CCS or CSS. I'm sure they're still around, and they had like these catalogs, and we had them sent to us uh, in middle school, and we would all like just look at these catalogs all the time. I don't know. I'm sorry, I just thought I'd throw that out. And there's also a Think Geek uh, monkey sticker in here, but obviously. The meat and potatoes is this amazingly cool uh, pickaxe. It's beautiful. Sorry, all right, just uh, you wrote pickaxe to my head. Off. I was mining for brains, Mal. I was mining for. There's a lot there. There's a lot there. Anyway, Felix, thank you so much for this uh, very generous care package. Uh, I I want to watch through Pokemon again because it's been. Well, the only time I ever saw it was in theaters. When did this come out? Does it say? 97? 98? 99? Which one is it? Make up your mind, dang it. 2000? It says a bunch of dates at the bottom. Either way, it's been at least like 12 years. At least 12 years. That's a freaking long time. It's not Pokemon the Movie 2000, which came out in 2000. So it must have come out in 99 or 98. So wow, 13 years. It's been a long time since I've seen that. That's cool. Yeah, maybe um, maybe when Dan's here, he'll want to watch it. Watch it with Dan. Uh, anyway, Felix, thank you so much. This was awesome. Um, the, this last letter opening was a little ridiculous because the cats were running. We actually kept cutting. I don't know if you guys can tell. We had to keep cutting and, and, and restarting because the cats were everywhere and were going crazy because we woke them up with this thing, which I can already tell is going to be a fun new toy. Yeah, anyone who wants to send cat toys, feel free because they will get a lot of uh, they'll get used a lot because the kitties love to play. Anyway, Felix, thank you so much for your generosity and sending uh, a wonderful care package. And for everyone who sent, <laughs> this is like a giant error. For everyone who sent something in, I uh, really appreciate it. And uh, we are looking forward to more mail, which will happen tomorrow. A mail episode every single day until it's all opened. Fingers crossed on that. If you want to send in mail, you can go over to the channel page in the top right hand, <laughs> in the top right hand corner, you'll see an address, send us something, we'll open it. Uh, and the kiddies will play with it, no matter what it is. Do you like want to play with the, the pickaxe? No, he wants this. You want the pickaxe? The pickaxe? Huh? He says, no, not at all. I want that thing dangling in front of me. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow for more mail.